Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sakira Sunshine. I'm Alexander Dezant. And together we are... Discovered... Souls. Okay, never mind. Alright, that was good. <laughs> Alright, so we are co-creators of the 10,000 Happy Souls Project, where we are going across the world, starting with our world here in Toronto, to meet and connect with Happy Souls. And our first happy soul that we want to feature today is... <laughs> Such harsh. Harsh. All right, so how, tell us about Harsh. How did we meet him? Uh, so yeah, Harsh was our concierge, which is like our security in our, in our condo. Uh, he was there and at first he was, um, when he started, he was working like the afternoon shifts and then he switched to morning shifts and he became a supervisor over there. So it was kind of cool, like learning about Harsh and, you know, he always greeted with me, greeted me with, hello, Mr. Alex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, always. Hello. No, no, he didn't even say hello. I'm, that's why it felt awkward. He said, Mr. Alex. <laughs> yeah, every single time. So like. Always put a smile on my face to, to hear him say that, and uh, yeah, so. Yeah, Harsh, I remember my first time meeting him was when I started visiting you when we were like developing our business together before we were even partners, and he would always let me in when he comes onto the security gate and mm -hmm. was so pleasant in um, giving me the stamp for the night. Sometimes... I'd be staying like three nights and you had a maximum okay. number of nights okay. that that I could stay but he always yeah. let me in. He's so kind. If there's one word That's that's what I was thinking when I closed my eyes actually. Kindness? <laughs> Kindness? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, sick. Okay, that's awesome. So if there's one word that we'd use to describe harsh, that is he is very he's yeah. a kind soul. Kind. We do appreciate you harsh. Yes, and we do. If you're watching, sure amazing. you are such an awesome human soul, and um, thank you for being you. So, when it comes on to the project that we're doing, we do give individuals um, messages that we believe are for them. And the one that Harsh picked out was, there's a magic about you that is all your own. How does this apply to anyone out there who's watching? Can you read it again, please? There is a magic about you that is all your own. I think uh, we we are afraid to know that we have the magic or the light within us. And sometimes reading a thing like that on a card, we feel like, oh, it's true. Like what I really feel about myself is true. I actually am magnificent, I am magical, I am the light, and uh, so I think we go through our lives um, not believing in ourselves and not believing that we do have magic inside of us, and our journey of life is just remembering that that magic is inside of us, and so when we have little instances like Harsh did where he read that on the card, it just kind of shows up in a, in a mirror to kind of be like, hey, this is what's happening inside of you. And it's not something outside of us that's just telling us something nice. It's about ourselves telling ourselves what who we actually are and to look for those kind of things. So by I think Harsh looked at by looking at the car and he just called it right into his reality. He wanted to see this. And, um, and when we're ready to see it, um, the teacher always appears. Everything always appears when we're ready to see it. So if, if nothing is happening in our lives, just know that it will happen. And not to look at uh, the future or the past, but just to be happy where we are and, and just to know that we do have the magic inside. Question that came up as you were talking, and thank you for sharing that, Alex. Was there any point in your life when you did not feel that magic inside you? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't until like, like I, I had little spurts of like, 
all of that magic inside, you know? And I, I know there's a lot of people out there who probably think, you know, so I'm confident some days and some days I'm not confident. And this inner confidence comes from like, we don't know. It's just one day we wake up and we feel good or in the middle of the day, we feel good or at night we feel good. We feel confident. We feel like ourselves. And just knowing that that like, it's always there for us. Um, so there was a lot of times in my life where I, I didn't feel that. And like I said, I would have these sporadic moments of, I feel confident. And now, um, thankfully, what I'm super grateful is that it's happening way more frequently. And actually the sporadic moments are the opposite way now yes. where I start to question myself or fear or have self doubt, um, about myself. So that's coming up very rarely now. And believing in myself actually is coming up a lot more, but I had to go through all of that time in my past of, you know, I, what, we can look at f for signs on the outside to tell us how we're feeling about ourselves on the inside. So if I was drinking too much, it wasn't the drinking that was bad. It was that my association with the drinking that was bad. It's where I, where I was that I felt I needed to consume this in order to feel good or drugs or whatever it is and I think uh, I think we always use coping mechanisms um, not to, to run away from our problems but to remember who we are and in doing those things it's okay as well because that is helping you to remember who you are and we can always just be okay where we are um, and that makes everything feel good. And, you know, I've looked on the outside for years for the strength. I thought that the strength came through my education or through my career or um, advancement in the workplace. But I found out, and you said it so perfectly, that even when we look on the outside, those things eventually point us back to the power that is within us. And if you're listening and you want to find that magic within you, because that's what we are all about, igniting the love and the light that is within you, just pause. And I want you to realize that whatever is happening in your life right now is there working out for your good, is there to help you to remember how magnificent you are and that the power is really, really within you. So take a moment and just breathe through whatever you're going through because once you're alive, the power is still within you. No matter if you know it or not, it is there. And if you're watching this, you might need this reminder. So that's it from us today. Thank you, Harsh, for being our episode number one. And we're going to 10,000. I thought you were going to say happy that he was our concierge. And That's yes. That's what I was happy about. <laughs> yeah. She's happy he's just a happy soul. I'm happy he was our concierge because he made like every like time we went in and out just so happy. So, oh, yes. Yeah, so super cool. Super and cool guy. subscribe. Follow us along on this journey as we go where the spirit leads us to find and embrace, connect with these happy souls. Take care now.